Google'ın yapay zeka not tutma aracı Notebook LM notları sesli anlatma özelliği eklendi. Notebook LM'in yülediğiniz kaynaktan konuşmalar üretebildiğiniz Audio Overview özelliğini hemen denedik. Öncelikle platforma anlatılmasını istediğimiz bir kaynak yükledik. Bunun için de tek.eu yayınımızda yayınlanan ve Lüksemburg teknoloji ekosistemini aktaran bir makale seçtik. Kaynağı yükledikten sonra Audio Overview özelliğine bastık. Birkaç dakika içinde iki kişinin karşılıklı adeta bir podcast'te konuştuğu bir anlatım elde ettik. Anlatımı dinlemeniz için sizinle paylaşıyoruz. Okay, so get this. We're diving deep into some serious cutting edge tech today. But And this is a big but. We're not talking, you know, your typical Silicon Valley hub. Good. No. We're going international today. And believe me, this one's a curveball. Right. I'm intrigued. Lay it on me. Get ready for it. Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Really? I know, right? You hear Luxembourg, you think finance, banks, you know, the... Schlutz, briefcases, the whole shebang. Exactly. But hold on to your hats, because this tiny nation is brewing up a tech scene that's seriously turning heads. Yeah, what's remarkable is how Luxembourg is shaking things up, shedding that one-dimensional finance image. For sure. They're going all in on becoming a tech hub. And a recent article from tech.eu, like fresh off the press, caught my eye. It really digs into this whole diverse tech landscape that's popping up over there. And that's our launch pad for this deep dive. I mean, we're talking about a country famous for... Well, let's be honest, it's banks. Right. And now yeah. it's attracting serious tech talent and fostering some seriously cool innovation. It's a fascinating shift. Totally. In fact, this article even calls out 10 companies that are like the poster children for this whole trend. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. But before we get into the specifics, let's have a little fun with it. If you had to guess right now what Luxembourg's top tech sectors are, what comes to mind, Yeah. <laughs> picture it. All right. Ready for your mind to be blown. I'll be honest, when I first started reading this article, yeah. it was like, wait, Luxembourg, really? It's not the first place that springs to mind. Yeah, no, not at all. But that's the thing, right? We get stuck in our ways thinking, oh, yeah, Luxembourg, that's finance, end of story. But this article, it throws those assumptions out the window. They don't want to be pigeonholed. Exactly. And they're not just dipping their toes in the water either. Yeah. We're talking full-blown, diving headfirst into some seriously cutting-edge sectors. I mean, yeah, fintech is obviously huge there. It's Luxembourg, but... It's almost a given at this point. Right. But it's not the whole story, not even close. We're talking space tech, clean tech, even music tech, all thriving alongside those big-name financial institutions. It's wild. It's like they've unearthed this hidden trove of tech potential right under everyone's noses. It really is. And the article does a great job at like spotlighting this whole shift right from the get go. Oh, absolutely. Like they emphasize how Luxembourg is making these power moves to become a global hub for innovation. Mm -hmm. And crucially, they're not limiting themselves to just one or two sectors. They're casting a wide net. It's a much more holistic approach. Exactly. And the best part is they're backing it up. They're putting their money where their mouth is. Well, you have to, right? Totally. And that's where this list of 10 companies comes in. Yeah. Tell me more about that. So the article highlights these 10 companies, almost like a who's who of Luxembourg tech. Okay. A sampling of what's popping up over there. Yeah. And right off the bat, they hit you with SES. SES. Yeah, are you familiar with them? Vaguely. Refresh my memory. So they're a major player in satellite communications. Whoa, hold on. Satellites. Yep. Luxembourg. I know, right? And get this. They just secured a whopping 300 million slinerin in funding. Seriously, that's massive. Right. That's some serious investment in space tax. Who knew Luxembourg was such a space enthusiast? Well, it's smart, right? They're ahead of the curve. Totally. And it shows their commitment. This isn't just a PR stunt. They're in it for the long haul. It's strategic. They've been investing in space technology for years now, recognizing its potential, not just for, you know, exploring the cosmos, sure. but for things like global connectivity, data analysis, all that jazz. It's about the bigger picture. For Absolutely. Shit. But as you said, it's not just the big fish like SES making waves. The article also shines a light on some smaller companies that are doing some seriously impressive things. Oh, yeah, for sure. Companies that might not be household names yet, but they're pushing boundaries in their own right. And one that really jumped out at me, and this is so timely, was SustainCert. SustainCert, what are they up to? OK, so big picture, independent verification for carbon markets. 
Now that's intriguing. Right. I mean, you know, everyone's talking about climate action these days. Every other commercial. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Companies are falling over themselves to make these grand promises about going green. Green walking galore. Exactly. And that's where SustainCert swoops in. They're all about making sure those promises are backed up by actual action. Okay, so they're like the sustainability police. Basically. They provide that much needed transparency, holding businesses accountable. Oh, I see. Because without verification, it's just hot air. A hundred percent. And the fact that Sustancer is based in Luxembourg, I think it speaks volumes about their commitment to not just being a tech hub, but a responsible one. It's a good look for sure. Right. But hold on to your hats because we're not done with the unexpected sectors just yet. Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah. Buckle up. So get this. Solanke. Solanke. I'm not. I know. I had the same reaction when I first saw wellness lumped in with cutting edge tech. I was like, come again. Like, what does that even mean? Exactly. But and this is a testament to this article. It piqued my curiosity. So I dug a little deeper. And let me tell you, it's actually fascinating stuff. OK, you've got my attention. What's the deal with Solanke? So basically, they're bringing the whole beauty and wellness industry into the 21st century, like full digital makeover. Online booking, appointment management for salons. They've even got data-driven insights to, like, personalize the whole customer experience. So they're like the open table of spa days. In a nutshell, who knew a trip to the salon could be so high-tech, right? It's wild how tech is weaving its way into every nook and cranny of our lives. I know. Even those we least expect. Yeah. And for Luxembourg, having a company like Solanke in their corner just adds another layer to this whole diverse and dynamic tech scene they've got going on. Totally agree. But we've saved the best for last. And this one, honestly, when I read it, I almost choked on my coffee. Oh, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Yeah. What could be more surprising than satellites and digital salons? Okay, so brace yourself. Music tech. As in, Luxembourg is throwing its hat into the music tech ring. No way. Luxembourg and music tech. That's a curveball I did not see coming. Right. Like, it just goes to show how much we still have to learn about this tiny nation. They're full of surprises. But anyway, back to music tech. The company in question is Kiem. Kiem. All right, break it down for me. What do they do? Okay, so picture this. A platform that connects everyone in the music industry musicians, producers, studios, you name it, all in one place for collaboration and networking. Okay, so like a LinkedIn, but specifically for musicians. Exactly. It's about making the music industry more efficient, more accessible, no more digging through endless emails, trying to get your demo heard. Kiye streamlines the whole process. That's huge, especially in such a no notoriously tough industry to break into. I mean, who knows if Luxembourg will become like the music tech capital of the world. Right. But the fact that they're fostering this kind of innovation, it speaks volumes. It really does. OK, so let's recap for a second. We've got satellites, carbon credits, digital salons, and now music platforms. It's official. Something incredible is brewing in Luxembourg. But I think it's time to shift gears a bit. OK, I'm with you. It's not just tea about these specific companies, right? Right. What's the bigger picture here? What is it about Luxembourg that's attracting all this tech talent, all this innovation, and just as importantly, why should people outside of these, you know, specific industries even care? It's like they've cracked the code or something. Well, crack the code might be pushing it, but they definitely have a few tricks up their sleeve. Remember how the article talked about Luxembourg's business environment? Yeah, they said it was yeah. really friendly, especially for international companies. Exactly. And it's not just talk. Yeah. They've actually made it incredibly straightforward to set up shop there. Streamline processes, minimal red tape. So basically, they're rolling out the red carpet for innovation, making it as easy as possible for these companies to, you know, hit the ground running. Precisely. And then there's the whole location, location, location thing. Can't forget that. Right. Smack dab in the heart of Europe. Exactly. I mean, they're practically within shouting distance of major tech hubs like Paris, Berlin, Amsterdam. Prime real estate for collaboration and cross-pollination of ideas. Talk about a strategic advantage. It's like they're at the center of it all. Absolutely. But here's the thing. And this is crucial. Luxembourg isn't just sitting back, waiting for success to fall into their lap. They're being proactive. You know, what do you mean? The government is actively investing in these burgeoning tech sectors, creating a fertile ground for companies like SustainCert, Solanke, Key, and all of them to really take root and flourish. So it's not just about attracting these companies. It's about nurturing them, giving them the tools and support they need to actually thrive. Exactly. It's a much more hands-on approach. And that's what makes Luxembourg's story so compelling. Even if you're not, you know, a tech whiz or an entrepreneur, it challenges our assumptions about where innovation comes from. 
Right. Because let's be honest, when we think global tech hub, Luxembourg doesn't immediately spring to mind for most people. Exactly. But that's the beauty of it. It reminds us that sometimes the most unexpected places hold the greatest potential for growth and innovation. It's like stumbling upon a hidden gem tucked away in plain sight. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, yeah. And that's the question I hope our listeners are left pondering. You know, what other hidden gems are out there just waiting to be discovered? What other industries, sectors that we might dismiss as, you know, traditional or even outdated are actually ripe for a tech makeover? It's about keeping an open mind, right? Challenging those preconceived notions we all have. Absolutely. Yeah. Because in a world that's changing faster than ever, the ability to spot those hidden gems, to see the potential where others might not, that's what's going to set people apart. So to our listeners, keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your minds flexible. The next big thing might just be hiding in plain sight, waiting for someone to say, hey, wait a minute, there's something special happening here. And on that note, we'll leave you to explore these exciting trends. This has been The Deep Dive, encouraging you to keep questioning, keep discovering, and keep your finger on the pulse of innovation.